For the first time in more than eight months, Patty Wetterling is speaking out about how she and her family are coping now that the ordeal with her son is over. She spoke today after addressing a national convention of Amber Alert coordinators in Bloomington. Patty Wetterling was emotional as she addressed the convention, including a Department of Justice official who provided help during the first year Jacob was missing. Jacob Wetterling's disappearance in October of 1989 was a mystery that remained unsolved for 27 years until last fall. That's when Danny Heinrich confessed in federal court that he had kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and murdered Jacob. Esme Murphy spoke with Patty Wetterling today about her continued mission to keep kids safe. Esme. Well, Patty Wetterling was emotional both during and after her speech to the convention of Amber Alert coordinators. In the 20 years Amber Alerts have been in effect, 881 children have been rescued, including 33 right here in Minnesota. A success many at the conference said Patty and her husband Jerry deserve a great deal of credit for. I am sort of overwhelmed by the magnitude of all that you do and all that this conference represents, so I thank you. Patty Wetterling was emotional as she spoke to the gathering of Amber Alert coordinators. So many of the people in that room I've known for, uh, you know, almost 27 years. She is subdued as she reflects on the nine months that have passed since Danny Heinrich led authorities to the Painesville farm where he buried Jacob. I don't know. Everything changed last fall, and I'm just still sorting it out. Where, where do I go next? How do I... Uh, Move forward. After nearly 27 years of searching, where is Jacob? Somebody knows. The hunt for Jacob ended in a tumultuous two weeks last fall with a horrific courtroom confession by Heinrich. The healing is going to take some time, and uh, and that's what we've been doing is just taking time for each other and sorting. Her joy is doing what she did here, working with those who help find missing kids. Oh, I love these. Honestly, I still love. I, one of my favorite things is I do law enforcement training. And she lights up when she talks about the Amber Alert system, which has brought 881 children home to their families. Isn't it amazing? These kids came home. It's just, it's, a, it's an incredible program. Now, Patty Wetterling said she did not want to comment on legal matters. The Wetterling, citing personal privacy concerns, have filed a lawsuit against Stearns County seeking to block the release of some of the files in Jacob's case. The Wetterling's attorney, Doug Kelly, says the number of files the Wetterlings want blocked are three one thousandths of one percent of the thousands of pages Stearns County plans to release. Today, an attorney representing a number of Twin Cities media organizations intervened opposing the Wetterling's position. WCCO Television is not one of those media organizations. All right, thank you, Esme.